Hello everybody, San Bonani. Welcome to my channel. Kamala Munda and I'm glad you're on this channel. See, I'm spending my day playing all the little things. Little bits of things. So cool, man. I'm so in the best way. See, fun. Little. Since the love of people, so being a nice cat. So we're funding what the love of so being man and you funda. See, I'm pinned a forty. See, we're my reality shows. It's a lot of things. Bits of things. So cool, man. I'm my shows. Since I'm reviews. I'm I'm recaps. See, pinned a forty. So cool, man. Any other issues? I've got. I'm a bit of my shows. See, we're bugging it with TV. Um, I'm happy I call us join and I'm glad you really like our content. Don't forget to go to or press the subscribe button. Lang is that um, I'm happy button. Lick really should go to also subscribe. Pillow got the money. Both we should go to press. Um, I call to go to press the notification bell. Oh, who's a pillar? Oh, taller. Um, yeah, let's um, I'm happy. Um, seven. Oh, much. I say, see, who fuck it. I'm glad you know. We are holding another meeting. The executive producers. We are talking about who to ban. Who can possibly host our reunion shows last year we had two part reunion shows usually when as the show as the seasons move up uh, the drama becomes even <laughs> there's even more drama as the seasons move up but we're not getting that with season two of real housewives of Deben. i've heard people say good season one was much better than season two it's very strange go to go and now i'm starting to feel the same when i was trying to search was among my episodes that we are going to get this season something said 28 episodes and i was like no there must be a mistake here do they mean they're going to drag this thing for 28 episodes <laughs> because honestly, I can tell you guy every episode when you drag and jizz into about to nonku about whatever. So I'm just thinking, what? How the hell are they going to get to uh, episode 28? Are they going to? Is there something new as of Vela? Nah, I'm as guys. I'm hoping that thing was wrong. <laughs> I'm hoping honestly, go to Google or wrong for a change. So, uh, we saw Fed Jogging last season hosting in Lokuzano season one of Real Housewives of Deben. And it had been, I think, Bam Tata Moba, he had hosted the Real Housewives of uh, Jobek as well. I think one of the seasons he was the host. And the other season, I think Umoche had tried and it didn't work out. It didn't work out. I, I, I actually didn't finish that. Um, uh, that reunion show, I didn't watch all of it because it was really bad. Here's the thing, guys. Oma nga bebe kasha umuntu ozo hosta ilo kuzani reunion. Be mkasha njena and it's someone who is not involved at all in the production of the show. In the suge yenzega is that usuge alingani la lo umuntu lo na labantu abasuge bea i cast. In a sense that these are employees of Whoever and now we employee yeah boy so who no good my boss my questions he doesn't go in as much as he needs to go in because now you lingana now when he just wants to keep his job like the rest want to keep their job for an example and the woman abe is show in local reunion show is hosted by one of the people that are a, a producers or executives then it makes that person number one if you're a producer we show you know more than any anyone you, you know as much as the women know uh, on the show so when you ask a question you already know what the answer is but you are looking for an answer for the viewers so it's likely Ugut Ama questions are they go deeper than when it's someone who is just an employee and also they the cast all it almost feels like the cast feels like they have the responsibility they do not have a choice but to, to answer the questions honestly we just watched uh last year a reunion year, uh, love and marriage in huntsville usually in love and marriage in huntsville their reunion is not hosted by a producer they will hire someone who has a hosted reunion but this last one because so much drama happened on that season in Uulo, Kuzanu Carlos King came, he is an executive, he, he owns the show, came and did the reunion. When they asked him, why did he choose to do the reunion, to host the reunion himself, he said, listen, I'm the producer of the show, so I know where the bodies are buried. So when I ask these cast members a question, I already know the answer. There is no way that they're going to be dishonest with me when we're sitting there. And guys, that was the hottest uh, the most dramatic uh, reunion that we had on love and marriage, Hansvin. 
I'm telling you, we have people confessing that they had been uh, unfaithful because he already knew. He already knew. He knows everything that happens on the show. What uh, Even what is cut out of the scenes, he knows about it. So it's always better to get someone like that to do the reunion. Most of the Real Housewives uh, franchises, it's Andy Cohen oh, who does the reunion because so Andy Valley, Real Housewives franchise, Ayake, oh, Ayake with the few partners, I guess. So he he's the one that already knows. He knows is it that made it to the show. He knows the things that didn't make it to the show. He knows what happened when they did the launch, what, what happened after the launch. What, he knows everything. So it always works. And also he is their boss. When he's sitting on that chair, it's them talking to their boss. So when they are doing the reunion, it's almost like it's an interview for the next season. Are you going to make it for the next season? And it depends on whether these questions that I'm going to ask you, you're going to be honest about it or not now. And if you are rude to me, I am your boss. I might decide that you are not coming back the next season. We have seen housewives being rude to Andy Cohen, like Carol from Real Housewives of New York was rude to Andy Cohen, and she didn't come back the next season. It makes the reunion very interesting. So I don't know if they could have someone like that in, with Real Housewives of Devon because, guys, yes, Fred Joe did do a good job, but we needed something more than what he did. He just didn't, it, it just didn't do it for me quite as much. So I don't know if they are bringing back Ulo Kuzanu, Fred Joe. If he is, if, if he is not called back, it wouldn't be because he did a bad job, but it would be because we just need something extra. And then there is Umosha. Honestly, Umosha, guys, I felt like he didn't do a good job in that season that he did of Real Housewives of uh, Joe Beck. But I guess maybe if they're looking for somebody who has done it before and maybe Ufe Joe cannot do it this year, maybe they might consider Umosha, but I'm just praying that they don't do that to us because it almost seemed like he was almost inter in intimidated by the, the housewives and he wasn't asking Ama questions that the viewers really want to know about Ilokuzana, about the housewives. The thing about it is that I, as, um, I was thinking about it, I was like, I think a problem that we have uh, with the real housewives is that it hasn't been here in South Africa for long, so we don't have a lot of people that we could add, um think to put in that position to host the Real Housewives. So maybe Ufe Joe might get a job only because when you look at other people, we don't really know if they could manage. We do have uh, one lady that I thought about, guys. Ulokuzan, <laughs> Ukabonina. I don't know why I thought about her, but Ukabonina did this show once where it was called Before I Do. Was it Before I Do? But it was like a, a almost like a couple coming to talk about the issues that they need to resolve before they get married. I really, really loved how Ukabonina did that show. And Ukabonina is the kind of woman that doesn't seem to, okay, let me say, it doesn't look like she gets intimidated easily. So I think that if she is somebody that really watches the show, because you need somebody that watches the show, because you need somebody that's going to ask questions about every scene that was interesting to us as viewers, about what they were wearing, about their makeup, their hair, their houses. We need like real interesting questions for us. If there is if there is a question about whether people are friends or not, or they're just pretending to be friends, by the end of the reunion, we need to understand what the deal is there. If somebody said a statement that us as viewers took as being racist, and then at the reunion, we need to get clarification. If they were not being racist, we need to be clear that they were not. If they were, then we need to be clear that they were. They need to be able to ask questions that might even be uncomfortable. And honestly, guys, I don't know what you think. I really like Ukabonina. I think she could do a really really good job uh, on that and i think also the fact that she is a woman maybe she could do a better job than even ulokuzana ufejo not that i'm saying ufejo must lose this gig guys but i think because uh, each genre of ulokuzana i'm a reality shows is new in south africa i think they really should be open in trying new people so that they could find that right person because if they're just going to stick with ufejo they're not they're not gonna know which, which other people might possibly be right for this job so i'm hoping that they are open to try new people i just hope that they don't go back to trying emotion because he didn't go a, a good job i hope they keep ulokuzana 
it's either they keep with a job or they move on to somebody that they think might be good for Ilokuzana to host the reunion. Might be even better than Ilokuzana Ufejo. But yeah, I guess good if they decide good they're not hiring somebody new. <laughs> but like I said, I hope good if they do have uh, one of the producers that could do a reunion that they consider that decision because I think we have seen it work in other franchises. Maybe it's about time that they try it because honestly, if the season is a, a continues to be as boring as it is right now, then the reunion really needs to be exciting for us to want to watch season three because as it stands, like there's people in my comment section that are saying, oh, Mina, I'm not going to watch season three. Oh, Mina, I'm going to stop watching. Even this season, people are saying it's so boring that they don't want to watch anymore. So I'm hoping that they find something that is just going to motivate people to watch season three, because I think definitely they're going to have a season three. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell me what you think about it. What are your suggestions when it comes to people uh, that can hold a reunion? Who do you think can do a good job here, guys? And we don't want to move those of because then... <laughs> that is my video for today, guys. Please like it before you put me on. Share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers when you turn on a call.